Good morning, my friends. It's Tuesday, March 30th, and I'm here with you at the Rising of the Sun. Holy Tuesday, the Tuesday of Holy Week. My cat is here. She is, well, I guess she's getting something more to eat. Settling down for some more breakfast. And I have with me an icon that I wrote a number of years ago at the cathedral in a icon writer's workshop for beginners like me. And it's here to help me pray this week. We have pivoted from Jeremiah into the Gospels so that we can walk directly with Jesus this week. And Jesus is saying something important to the disciples today in the Gospel of John as he prepares them for what's to come. He says, unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, it cannot become the fullness of what it's designed to be. I'm gonna to have to die, Jesus says, to become the fullness of who I am, so that you can see that. And what's implied as well is that we also will be, we will die, and in so doing, we will become the fullness of who we truly are. A seed has a little sort of a casing around it that has to break before it begins to bloom. Our bodies are that casing, and at one point or another, they break, they wear out, they don't last forever, they were never designed to do that. I always tell my congregation the death rate is 100%. Um, it is, it, we're not designed to live forever. But when our bodies begin to fall, that's when our true self emerges. Eternal life is not just us going to some place in the clouds. It's us realizing the fullness of who we are as, as children of God. And, and the scary part about it is that we don't know what it looks like. The seed has no idea and could never contemplate um, the plant or tree that it will become. It, it cannot contain that within this small encased self. So we have to trust that in being broken open and, and having our bodies go back to the ground that we ourselves won't be ended, but will be freed. That is the essence of the resurrection. And Jesus is trying to explain that knowing that he's going to have to go through a agonizing death in a number of days and not being able to explain to these beautiful souls who are gonna just be terrified. So he uses this beautiful metaphor from nature that they would know so well, all of them had planted seeds at one point or another to try to help them understand. And so he tries to help us understand too. I know it's scary that you're gonna die, that I'm gonna die, that we're gonna die but it's just the breaking open into the real life. Let us pray. Almighty God, I cannot imagine what Jesus felt knowing how he was going to die, that it would be hard. And yet he calmly tries to explain to his friends the truth about the body and the eternal life, and they don't understand. There's so much that we don't understand, but help us to put our trust in you, that you love us enough to die for us and show us the way into eternal life. Walk with us this week that we may plumb the depths of that love and not be afraid of the pain that surrounds it. 
Bless those who are ill, Lord. Bless the dying. Bless those who mourn. Bless those who are lonely. Especially Carrie to heaven, Jacinda Marie. Lord, guide us this week to walk in your ways. This we ask in the name of Jesus, your son, who gave himself for us so that we might live. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.